I am aware of the services YouthLink provides and know how to access the resources I need. I'm well aware of the services that they provide for us and I do know how to access them. It is just more, um, some of the services are just a little more harder to uh, get into or be a part of depending on what your situation is. Um, I'd say somewhat because uh, I'm really new here. This is like at least my first month coming here I think. So it's kind of like I know what's going on, I know the services, but it's kind of hard to utilize it. I'm very aware of the services. I, I kind of understand them. And in my role as the vice chair of the youth council, I, uh, I, I review all the services and provide guidance. So how to be more culturally responsive to our, our demographics and our peers. Using YouthLink's resources, I have learned how to build and sustain a routine that promotes self-sufficient and ready to transition out of the need for support services. I chose somewhat disagree because, um, I don't know, some of their services just become very dependent on them. Um, because of the way that they're set up, like you would have to keep coming back, such as for like hygiene products or to use a washer and dryer or simply just to get into housing. It kind of takes um, some time. Um, I guess I'm just a different. I wouldn't really, I'm not too sure. Um, I say somewhat disagree because a lot of resources people don't have and they come here to use those, so it's kind of hard to like ease your way off of it when you got a whole source that you can use that really supports you? I, I disagree um, because of my, my knowledge and insight. I know that there are a lot of return um, youth who exit out but then end up within a year or two needing to reuse the services because they, um, they weren't you know set up with a with a transition plan that, that was uh, person-centered, um, more of a, you know, a crisis response. So like, so like getting into housing but not learning how to budget, right, through case management. So now, two months, three months in, they're like, they're, the young people are back at square one because they weren't being developed over the time of their, their relationship to youth. And for myself, that's been true. The services are meant to keep us dependent on them. I, I would say it's different because there isn't any necessarily any thought to the you know the aftermath of anything so it's not necessarily that they want you to be independent it's like they didn't think of the aftermath they just think you know you're set up in housing or you're using their services and there's not much thought beyond that i say strongly disagree because there's a lot of more places that do the same thing that they do so it's just a whole different type of platform in a way I said somewhat agree because I know that the way that uh, a lot of these nonprofits and organizations like this are set up, it's usually they want, not that they necessarily want people to be struggling, but they need people to utilize their services. So they might not give you everything you need just so you can keep coming back, but they don't want you to come back necessarily. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, because, you know, um, looking at the, the bigger scope of the service delivery, um, I agree with what Joseph uh, said about, you know, they need us to constantly be in a position of need 
so that they can raise their donations and their funding off of our numbers, our, our numbers of how many young people are actually using the services. So if they did, if they did what they say that they are about, which is ending youth homelessness, then they would work themselves out of the job, out of the, out of the set. Um, so they're kind of like a catch-22. Yes, they do want us to kind of utilize the services to get in a position where we could be more self-sufficient, but through its actual implementation um, of service delivery, that's just not what the outcome is consistent. I have needed to use housing services multiple times within one year or more or less within a touch point at YouthLink. Um, strongly disagree because I haven't used their uh, housing at all because um, I'm more focused on trying to get other things in my life besides housing. Yeah, I said someone disagreed because I have utilized housing services uh, one or, or two times within the last year, but they were not through Euclid. I would say strongly agree um, because I've had to comment on some of the services that they've had, especially for housing. It's kind of a repetitive thing, like I said before, where you kind of just have to keep coming back in order to get what you want. And I, and I see that kind of as an issue. Like, you shouldn't have to come back to this type of service multiple times in one year. It should be, a, you know, they intake you and then they set you out and then the aftercare. Um, yeah, uh, I, I strongly agree because um, from my own personal experience, uh, going through the coordinated entry, I was uh, placed in an external housing provider, so an external agency, and um, within about three months of like moving in, I got a job, so then two months after that, so now it's like five months after getting housed, um, my, my case worker, uh, my caseworker did not inform me about like some of the conditions of the program, so I ended up making too much money by working, so then I, I ended up uh, being kind of kicked off the programs without any like forewarning. It was like a dollar over clip, and once I made that dollar over, like they just removed all the, the support from me without um, ever having like kind of helped me to develop the skills and the awareness of how to like sustain that on my own. And then I had to go to different aid, like different organizations um, that provided similar services, but it wasn't necessarily through YouthLink anymore. Then it was like external services and I would just come back to YouthLink uh, for the hot meal and the education resources. Um, yeah, in line. So I come to YouthLink for transformative experiences and resources. Sorry, because every time I've come to Youth Link, uh, I guess I've had a transformative experience, whether it be working with my peers or learning about the struggles that my peers are enduring. I say agree because it made me a better active person doing most of the activities that Youth Link has placed for youth my age. Um, sat around, got to know a lot of people when I didn't know nobody, so, yeah.
The programs and services YouthLink provides help me to be more independent long-term. Um, I would say I'm indifferent, but only because I haven't really received services, but other um, nonprofits and organizations that are meant to support you I would say have have resources that can help people that um, may rely on it long term. But in my personal experience, I haven't been or I haven't seen anything that would help me long term. Though. Great.